So last Friday we worked a little bit on the components inside of React Kindling. So I just wanted to quickly review a couple of the pieces that we put together uh, so that everybody gets a chance to see how a React component works, at least at the very basic level. So we're going to write just a little bit of code. Um, if you open up the register.jsx file, you can see some of the code that we wrote on Friday, and we're just going to do the same thing today. I just wanted to walk everybody through this. All right, so we're going to do this for the login. Um, if you have the project running, the login page currently looks like this. I'll do a quick poll to make sure that I have the latest code. Um, it seemed like somebody was working on some styling for this page, but maybe those changes haven't been committed. It, it doesn't really matter. We can get them up later. Uh, but basically, we want to be able to take this email and this password and submit it to the server. So we won't go so far as submitting it to the server today, but we will at least be able to get it into a, a method. Okay. So I've got login.jsx that returns all of this stuff when the render happens. What we want is when I click on login right here, I want it to call a method inside of my class. So we're going to call the method handle login. And since we are using ES6, we can actually write our methods like this if we want. Um, just whatever makes the most sense. To everyone. So typically when you deal with a button, you'll have an on click. So you would do something like this. Anything between the brackets is executable JavaScript code. So I would do something like this.handle login. However, we're using the material UI components. So we've got this flat button, which does not have an on click. Instead, they have simplified the process of dealing with uh, click handlers between mobile devices and the computer. So if I have a touch device and I click on it, um, I believe it handles a, has a handle touch or something method instead of an on click. But we wanted to, they, they wanted to unify those two methods into one, which is really quite nice because we want the same thing to happen across both. So if I go into the um, register.jsx, you can see it's on the, we have this on touch tap method. Um, and that's the one that we're going to use inside of login. So we're going to change from on click to on touch tap. And now when we click this button, it should call this method. So let's just put a console.log in here and say click. And if I go to the application, um, and I click on login, we should see that. So let's open up the console. Click login. Uh, sorry. Must not have refreshed to get our latest code. So it's submitting back to the server, which it should not be doing. Login, and push back, push back into login. And let's still try to submit this form. I need to prevent default. Uh, I don't think we will we'll try. Um, just return false right here. I don't think you actually need to do that. That seems really strange inside of React, but um, it's also really strange that it is submitting the login. Forms. All right, so it's still submitting the login form. All right, so what is the difference 
because in register this works just fine. Both of those are submit buttons. Why does create account with submit button? No, because it is. Okay, so let's go grab, let's change. Actually, let's just remove that. I'm not sure why we have a button and a link. So we'll get rid of that code, which gives us just the link to create an account. So if I click on that, I'm on the register page. In this case, we will call the register code with this handle click. Which is right here. How convenient. So if I type in a, an email and a password and I hit sign up, I'll end up inside of here. So it does not submit the form. Everything works like it's supposed to. There's the password. And so that's great. Going back to the login page. And I click login. It's still submitting back to the, back to the server. Try this. I shouldn't do this. That's, that's exactly the same code. Although the, I guess the flat button might have a different method instead of on touch tap. I should probably go look at that. So it, it uses the same base component, so it should mix in this on touch tap as well. And that should be fine. So I'm going to change this into just a, a normal ES5 method and see if that makes a big difference. Let's get rid of that. And this should be hot reloading the components, but just in case, I'm just going to refresh the page. All right, so now when I click login, it is still submitting back to the server, and it is not calling our method. So it is calling the method, it's just, it's still submitting back to the server. Okay, so I'll have to figure out why and how to prevent that. But that was just the first piece that I wanted to show, is just how to use these components um, and interact with them so that when they are touched, when they are clicked, you get um, a function call. All right, that's it for today. The next step will be hooking this up to an action inside of Flux, so we can take a look at that uh, the next time we train. Thank you.